What the hell? The WWE Network is not working right now. I've had it up to here. WWE Network. Yes! What's up, everybody? JD here. It is the 24th of February this morning. It's actually 7.33 Pacific Time. The reason why I'm up so early and the reason why I'm posting this video is because the highly anticipated WWE Network goes live as we speak. So, I am so excited. I cannot wait to get my hands on this WWE Network. Um, let's talk about it real quick. So, the WWE Network is supposed to be epic because one is $10 a month with a six month commitment. So, 60 bucks um, outright from what it seems, and then $9.99 after that. What you get from the WWE Network is that you get the Raw and SmackDown pre-shows and post-shows from what it advertised. You get to watch every WCW, ECW, and WWE, WWF pay-per-view that has been produced in the past. But also, for this $9.99 a month, you will also be able to watch every pay-per-view that's coming live as part of your $9.99 monthly payment. So instead of you paying $50, $60 a month for your pay-per-views, now you can watch it on the WWE Network. This, in my eyes, is fantastic because the next pay-per-view is WrestleMania. We all know that hopefully Undertaker comes and shows up and does his little prep and, you know, this gets everybody excited to watch WrestleMania 30. He hasn't yet to like, show up yet, but we'll see what happens. What's even more exciting is that last week they announced that Hulk Hogan is actually back on the roster. Now, trust me guys, I don't believe he's going to wrestle. He's not going to do anything crazy, especially since he's had so many surgeries on his back. He's all kinds of toe up, so don't expect him to do anything crazy. But it's very good to see him come back to WWE. You would think, you know, with him and Vince having their, you know, differences in the past... It's all about, you know, making money at the end. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see if there's any other surprises that can happen before WrestleMania. Um, here's my problem. As I mentioned before, this is the first day of the WWE Network. The WWE has done everything in their power to advertise the WWE Network. Yesterday, they even went through as to show us how it worked. They used their iPads and their laptops during a pay-per-view during the Elimination Chamber. Let us know how to use it, how to sign up, when to expect it. I was a little confused because when they first announced the WWE Network, they said it was going to come out today, but it was going to go live at 11.06 p.m. Eastern Time. They switched it up and said that it comes out today, but it comes out at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Oh, I'm sorry, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So that's 6 a.m. for me. So I didn't, you know, wake up at like 5.30 like I wanted to. I was, you know, recommended that I go to sleep, you know, sleep in. And I did just that. And I'm glad I did. Because right now, the WWE Network is not working. You can't even sign into this thing right now. I do not get it. I just don't get it. Like... How do you advertise this huge network that's supposed to change television and you can't even sign in, you can't even log in because all the servers are bogged down, it's tied. I posted a tweet earlier and I was like, man, these fools better be running with their heads cut off and get more servers to increase the bandwidth. The traffic and demand for this thing is ridiculous and they didn't see this coming. That's my problem with these people they advertise they you know get people pumped and excited got people turned up they wake up in the morning to try and get into this and it doesn't work that's why I'm worried about Titanfall that's coming out on March 11th we had a beta for it yes but we've had betas on other games before and when launch came the games do not work on day one so if we're gonna get my money this mess better work. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments down below. I have a video of Fire Pro Wrestling playing right now 
I'm still kind of new to it and I actually just found out how to load some PlayStation uh, store saves onto my PlayStation so now I have all the updated wrestlers for the most part and I'll be showing videos of that soon um, it's very very addictive it's very different and it's really cool so you guys should check it out if you haven't checked out fire pro wrestling it's only ten dollars on the playstation network so hopefully they resolve the issues hopefully they get it fixed before raw starts because like i said before they have free shows before the show so i'll talk to you guys later peace Oh!